also when the HSC has released its annual um, statistics for work-related injuries and ill health for the last 12 months. Um, any surprises? Not really. I think everybody was thinking that there was going to be a plateau at some point. It's it's fairly static at the moment in time. Well, we can say there's um, you know, two less fatalities. It's absolutely amazing. Um, obviously, the aim would always be to reduce those figures to as what is possible, which is really good. But um, I think at some point we just need to reach a level where we should continue to strive to reduce it. But we just need to accept that the time, the effort, the money that's going to go into some of these things, that um, we need to get to a level where, you know, I don't think one fatality is acceptable, but there should be probably a figure um, that people would say, as per industry, they're willing to accept, which probably sounds wrong, but um, I don't think we should accept any fatalities at work. But there would be a level which I don't think would be feasible or easily possible to get below, you know, but what I figure is, uh, I don't know what it is, but we just need to think about it. So the, the downward trend that we've seen over the past few years is continuing now. Do you think that's because of um, the recession in that there is, there's less construction work going on, or do you think in general health and safety is being managed better? Is that the reason for the, the gradual decline in accidents and ill health? Um, like, like most things, it might be a contributory factor, but I probably think there's a lot of things that, that would uh, come into the mix. There's also this whole deregulation thing going on. So, um, you know, by putting health and safety almost back in its box, will that see an increase? Or uh, did the recession actually cause a decrease? I think it's difficult to say because you would probably expect or businesses would cut uh, some of the you know, probably the advice they get or, or given um, consultants, etc. So you'll probably see that being cut, but it's actually quite surprising that it's still um, actually at a really low, low level, um, even though people are making cuts in certain places. So it might be that um, you know, people are just more and more uh, risk aware rather than the the averse that you know, everybody say, um, you know, in terms of health and safety, um, the cost versus the benefit. Yes, definitely. I think contributing factors there's many which might just be one of them mm -hmm. so how do you think the figures are going to change over the next year particularly in regard to the riddle regulations because obviously uh, they've changed just recently so that um, whereas the figures before included accidents only over three days they now they're only going to include the accidents that where people are off work for more than seven days do you expect to see a, 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 a very quick decline in, in, in numbers and how will the HSC sort of review those statistics going forward? Um, I think we're going to see a few things. One of it is they, uh, they would like you to be seen by a professional before you return to work, so not to have subsequent days of sick uh, before you've actually seen a professional because you would normally have an incident or an accident or ill health even where you would go off sick for a couple of days, come back for a few and then go off sick and it's this reoccurring pattern that costs industry quite a lot of money. And one of the things um, you probably just will definitely do is you'll get seen by a professional and then over f over seven days we'll get recorded in that way. Now, probably next year will be the base baseline, the base figure in terms of it's going to be the first year we can record over seven days. I don't really see the point of trying to uh, you know, compare it with the previous year, i.e. 2011-12, because it would not be the same. It would um, It's not apples with apples, it would be something different. But um, I think it would be really interesting, um, probably help industry. What is this going to show us? Um, less over seven days accidents. Um, what's the benefit? I, I can see the benefit in terms of seeing a professional, but uh, within the statistics, uh, you know, what is it trying to, to demonstrate? Um, which is probably a space to watch over the next couple of years. Do you think enough has been done in the UK to reduce the overall um, trend of work-related uh, incidents and accidents in the workplace. I think in, in terms of league tables, if we're looking across Europe, then Britain has a pretty good reputation. Um, the incidence rate, yes. If you look at, uh, I think Slovakia is the first with the lowest incidence rates per 100,000 and then United Kingdom, and then as you move all the way across, 
at the far end of the spectrum, you'll probably find the Eastern European, uh, you know, countries in terms of the the accession states uh, that came came part of the EU in two thousand and four. Now, it's probably I would actually say when you look at where we are in terms of the left hand of that table and the right hand in terms of having a large migrant community come and work in the UK as well, you know, with their incidence rate being so high and ours being so so low, I would actually say that industry is doing exceptionally well to make sure that those new uh, you know, influx in terms of uh, labour um, are actually looked after well. Now, probably to a certain extent, um, us, we will find out that ill health is probably on the increase, but in terms of um, you know, work-related fatalities and serious in- incidents at work is being continually being driven down. So we might argue the case that a lot of inroads has been made in terms of keeping that figure as low as possible, but now we need to turn the focus more on the health rather than the safety. There are rumours going around that the government may be introducing um, driving-related um, accidents uh, where, where someone was injured or, uh, or fatality fatally injured whilst driving for work in the statistics. Do you think this is likely to happen and uh, and what sort of overall impact will that have on the statistics? Uh, behind the scenes there's really a, a, you know, a lot of focus on the occupational element of health and safety where you know the industry, the uh, body in terms of IOSH and other are actually pushing to for the government to start uh, you know, producing these figures in terms of looking at the ill health, the occupational um, you know, road risk, occupational asthma, uh, and also other things because you know work is making people ill. Uh, but what are the figure? We need to probably look at, as we said, the inroads has been made in terms of um, you know the safety element, but the occupational health element definitely needs to be addressed because our work life balance is you know is just starting to mend and, and it all becomes one, um, and we need to to manage that risk. Thanks very much, Anne.